triple negative breast cancer is one of the most complex and aggressive types of breast cancer. It makes up about 15% of all different types of all the types of breast cancer. It's particularly challenging to treat because there are no specific targeted therapies available for breast for triple negative breast cancer, unlike hormone receptor positive or HER2 positive disease. Triple negative breast cancers are more aggressive. They tend to present younger, um, require more treatment, and present at more advanced stages. Triple negative breast cancer is one of the most difficult to treat types of breast cancer. It's, there is an increased risk of recurrence within the first three to five years with this type of, of cancer. Furthermore, it has a different pattern of spread than, different, uh, than other types of breast cancer with more visceral metastases, more soft tissue disease. Uh, and finally, because it is more aggressive uh, and without targeted options available for this disease, we're limited only to cytotoxic chemotherapy, at least as of, uh, except for very, very recently. In early stage breast cancer, in the adjuvant and the neoadjuvant setting, we're really limited to cytotoxic chemotherapy for the treatment of triple negative breast cancer. Um, however, a lot of research is being done in the metastatic setting, as well as the early stage setting, but primarily in the metastatic setting, we have made some strides uh, in terms of personalization of treatment for triple negative breast cancer. For example, the recent impassion data includes uh, MAB paclitaxel in combination with atezolizumab for triple negative breast cancers in whom uh, there is PDL1 expression. And secondly, uh, the use of PARP inhibitors such as olaparib, telazoparib for BRCA mutation carriers. There's a lot, of, a lot of additional work to be done looking at specific other gene mutations and other types of targeted therapies, plenty of research ongoing in, in those regards. The current approach to the treatment of metastatic triple negative breast cancer includes sequencing of cytotoxic chemotherapies. Um, generally speaking, that's single agent therapies used one after another. Recently, the FDA approved the combination of atezolizumab and NAB paclitaxel for its use in the first line treatment of metastatic triple negative breast cancer in patients uh, whose cancer or whose immune cells express PDL1. However, the remainder of treatment options that are currently FDA approved are just cytotoxic chemotherapies. And this can be anthracyclines, taxanes, antimetabolites, among others, which can be used in no particular sequence, um, it, one after another. I typically reach for a taxane uh, in the first line setting. However, this can really depend on the patient's prior treatments, prior history. For patients who have already, already received an anthracycline or a taxane, I might reach for an antimetabolite such as capecitabine, or for people with a lot of visceral disease, perhaps a combination of gemcitabine, gemcitabine and carboplatin, and of course use of a PARP inhibitor uh, for those who have a BRCA mutation. I've recently started checking PDL1 status in the immune cells of triple negative breast cancers to consider the use of immunotherapy in combination with, an, with a taxane in the first line setting uh, as per the recent impassion data.